In this tutorial series, we will be using, among others, Django, Django REST framework, Django channels, JSON web tokens, React.js, Tailwind CSS, and more in order to create this very simple project, which I'm going to demonstrate right now. And this project is all about real-time notifications. So first of all, I'm going to log in into two different browsers as two different users. Okay, so currently I'm logged in over here as me, and then I'm going to log in as the test user. For simplicity purposes, I only have two posts. One belongs to me, the other one belongs to the test user. Okay, so whenever I decide to like my post, or the test user decides to like my post, I will see a notification. If I decide to like the test user post, or the test user decides to like his own post, he will see the notification. So let me show you how this works. Okay. And if I like my post, I get a notification. And then if the test user decides to like my post, I get a notification. And then if the test user decides to like his own post, he will get a notification, all right? So this is what we are going to build, starting from building an API using Django REST framework. All right, guys, currently I'm at the desktop and I created a brand new directory called notifications. So let's access it from both of the terminals. So first of all, I'm going to just write CD desktop and slash notifications, or we can simply go CD and then grab this directory and access it this way. All right, so the first terminal is going to be for the backend, the other one for the frontend. So front-end will be covered in the upcoming videos, and in this one we will focus on setting up some ba basic backend stuff. All right, so first of all, um, let's create a new virtual environment over here called backend. And here we will create a new React app. And the name is going to be front-end. All right, so while this is going to be uh, installed, let's focus on the backend since this is the primary target of this particular video to set up an API, a basic API. All right, so what we need to do is to access our backend, activate the virtual environment, and install Django and Django REST framework. We will, of course, need more dependencies, but for now, let's just um, install these two. Let's wait a few seconds. All right. Now, since Django is installed, we can create a Django project with Django admin start project core. And I'm going to rename this core directory to SRC access src and then create the tables with python manage py migrate i'm going to create a super user okay and what i'm also going to do is to create a new app within this project called posts and now I'm going to open Visual Studio Code. In here, let's go straight to the point. Let's access models.py and create our post class, which inherits from models.model. And this is going to be a very simple table with four fields. The title is going to be the first one. Okay, we are going to set max length as 200, for example. Then we will have the body, so the post description, you can say, and this is going to be a model's text field. And then we are going to have the likes, and this is going to be a model's many-to-many -many field. And here we will place in the user. So we will have a, a relationship to the user, and this is a built-in class. So we need to import it from Django contrib auth models. 
models and we want to bring in the user all right so user and then i'm also going to set blank is equal to true making this field optional all right and then we will have an author and this is going to be a foreign key relationship also to the user so on delete we will have models cascade and then we'll set the related name to um, author just like this all right uh, next let's provide a string representation method return str and let's return the self title perfect let's save this let's go to the admin from dot models we want to import our post class let's register it admin site register all right and let's save this next let's go to core settings let's add this post app to the installed apps list above let's add rest framework which we installed just a few seconds ago rest framework like this all right let's save this and before we do some configuration for the rest framework let's run the migration so python manage py make migrations and python manage py migrate Okay, we can run the server python manage py run server okay let's log into the django administration and let's create a simple post so i'm going to put in test post one test post one test body one and then I'm going to select the author as me and then I'm going to go to the users add a user test user I'm going to save this um, I just want to create right now another post where the author is going to be the test user and this is going to be test post 2 test body 2 let me make this maybe a little bit bigger Okay, and then I'm going to place me as the person who liked this post. And then I'm going to save this. Okay, so we have two posts, perfect. As the next step, let's go to our posts application, create an API directory, and over here we will place in serializers py. We will also place in views py. And we will also place the um, URLs py. All right. So starting from serializers. Over here, let's begin imports from REST framework. We want to import serializers. And from dot dot models, we want to import our post model. Let's create a class called post model serializer. And this is going to be serializers dot model serializer so from the model serializer we are inheriting right now and we can indicate that the model is going to be post so we want to serialize the data of the post model and then we need to define the fields so here what i'm going to do is to place in the id the title the body and also uh, what else do we have likes and then we will have um, the author so uh, not authors but author okay title body likes author title body likes author later we will add something to this list okay so as the next step, let's go ahead and create the view. So in the views py file, let's of course save the serializers py file and let's move to the views. And here, let's also begin from the imports. So from REST framework, we want to import the view sets. Then from dot dot models, we want to import post. 
and from dot serializers we want to import our post model serializer let's create a class called posts view sets which inherits from view sets model view set the query set is going to be post objects all and then as the next step let's define the serializer class as post model serializer let's also define a method for liking the post within this view set so we will have a method called like post and this is going to be taken in self request and pk and in order to actually complete this method what we need to do is to import from rest framework decorators the action decorator so from rest framework decorators we want to import action let's wrap it up with action and here we need to specify the methods so in our case it's going to be post and then we are going to have details set to true because we will be liking and unliking a particular post so we can create a post variable for now which is equal to self get object get object okay and then um yeah let's just leave it as it is we can maybe print out the post or just let's let's leave it for now as it is we will continue working on it a little bit later so i'm just going to put in add logic later all right so uh, we have our basic view set created now let's focus on the urls so in the urls we will need to again begin from the imports so from django urls we want to import path and include include there it is from rest framework we want to go to routers and import the default router and then from dot views we want to import our view set which was called post view set now we can define the router default router and we can register our post path so router register posts post view set and let's set the base name as post okay and then in the url patterns we are going to have a path as we are going to set the path as the main path and then include simply our router urls like this all right i'm going to save the views py file because uh, i think i didn't do that and then what we need to do is to include the urls py file from over here in our main urls py file so what i'm going to do is to head over to the main urls py file in our core directory i'm going to import include and i'm going to register a new path called api and here i'm going to simply include and what I'm going to include is posts API URLs. So posts API URLs. All right, let's save this and let's see if this will work. So I'm going to copy this path. Then I'm going to adjust it. I'm going to go to API and we have our posts and we have the post view set over here. Okay, so as you can see, right now we have a problem because in the likes we have the ids so um id one is the first user that was created so it's the super user and it's me and the author two this is the test user okay so let's actually um change something so over here we would like to see the username and then over here in the likes, let's say that we want to have a nested serializer so we can actually see the ID and the username. Let's do this right now by going to the serializer's py of our post application. And here below the from REST framework import serializers, we are going to import our user model again. So from Django contrib auth 
models we want to import user okay and what we are going to define at the top is a new class called user model serializer or maybe just user serializer it doesn't really matter I'm going to leave it as it is and then serializer model serializer this is from where we are inheriting and again class meta and here we will set the model as user and the fields are going to be the id and the user name all right so we have this user model serializer now we can refer to this user model serializer in the author field so we can set it as uh, sorry not author field uh, as um, likes so here we need to set likes as user model serializer we are going to set many is equal to true because we can have many many um uh, users that like this particular post and then we will have read only set to true okay let's save this and let's see if this will work and there it is all right so this is the first step the other one is to take care of the author so over here we are going to set the author as a serializer method field so author is equal to serializer serializer method field and if we do this like like in the way we did it over here then at the bottom we need to define a new method called get and whatever the field is so in our case it's get author then it take this this takes in self and obj and we will return not self because self is referring to the class of the uh, postmodal serializer but obj author user name okay let's save this and there it is all right now let's practice this concept by adding a like count so again like count is equal to and then serializers serializer method field and we need to add the like count to the fields like count like this and then we need to set a method get like count and this will take in self and obj so over here we just need to return the length of obj likes all like this okay so let's save this and let's see if this will work like count zero and like count one perfect next let's go to the settings py file and let's set some configuration for the rest framework so what we need right now is the rest framework authentication set to session authentication and then if we save the settings py and move to the urls py file we can then create somewhere over here a new path for the api auth and here we will simply include the rest framework urls so include include and then rest framework urls like this all right, let's save this. And I'm going to log out right now and log in. And right now, as you can see, we just simply have the possibility to log in and log out. And as the next step, what we are going to do is to simply add another field which will show us uh, information if the post is liked by the user which is logged in or not so it will return true if the user logged in liked the post and in other case it will simply return false so in order to do that we need to go back to our uh, serializers py file and over here we need to define a new serializer method field which i'm going to name 
is liked method field like this and then I'm just going to copy this and here we need to do some adjustments of course we will have is liked and then we will simply return something over here but first of all we need to grab the user and how to grab the user we can do it from self context and then request user so currently we have the user and now we can return true if user in obj likes all and else we will return false okay so we also need to include this is liked field in the fields okay let's save this let's hit refresh and there it is all right so this is working because um, i'm logged in as myself and um, the first post isn't liked by me and is liked is set to true uh, sorry is set to false while the second one is liked by me and is liked is set to true if i go to the posts and i go to the first post and then select me over here as well we will have is liked is equal to true in both cases all right so yeah i think we can finish off over here um this is a good start we will continue working on the back end in the next part we will continue working over there with this method for liking post right now it's basically empty so if you guys like this tutorial if you like this project please consider subscribing to the channel this gives me a huge motivation to continue uh, posting some interesting hopefully content for you and yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.